was September 20th, 1969. My two oldest sisters, Jen and Claude, joined my dad at Shea Stadium to see the Miracle Mets in action. It was fate they were going to win it all that year, but not on this day. The Pittsburgh Pirates, Bob Moose, wasn't looking to help the Mets capture a pennant. The 21-year-old right-hander threw a no-hitter, and my dad, Claude, and Jen witnessed history. I was an 11-month-old baby, and Dad left me at home with Mom that day. I never saw that no-hitter. I finally got the Shea on July 3rd, 1975, as a six-year-old boy. To watch the Mets stars I had only seen on my little black-and-white TV was amazing. Jerry Kuzman threw a four-hit shutout against the Cubs. The experience was wonderful, but it wasn't a no-hitter. Fast forward to 2008. Mets played their final season at Shea while workers built City Field beyond the outfield walls. The Mets won this game, too, but it wasn't a no-hitter. In fact, it never was. 47 years of history, 7,482 games, and no no no-hitter. That dubious curse inspired my website, nonohitters.com, and the count kept ticking. And the block grew in popularity. 7,500 games with no no hitter. 8,000 games. And then this man, Johan Santana, threw the first Mets no hitter. June 1st, 2012 would go down in history. And I had become that guy who knew far, far too much about no hitters. And now you can too. Baseball's No Hit Wonders More Than a Century of Pitching's Greatest Feats by Dirk Lammers. Forward by former MLB Commissioner Faye Vincent. Available wherever books are sold.